So I'm uh, very pleased to be joined once more in Barcelona by my friend Sven from Contron. And you've got some news for us there this year, some actual news, so tell us what that is. Yes, uh, as you know, we've been a long-term partner of Intel, and most of our development uh, around the hardware architecture is around Intel. And the fact that uh, we are always the latest and greatest in the processor technology, we've been announcing at the show here our new Sandy Bridge based uh, ATCA blade, Advanced Telecommunications Computing Architecture blade, which is bringing the customers to the market much quicker when developing proprietary pl platforms around um, an application. So we have a version which is an embedded packaging version, um, which is much higher performing um, than the enterprise version, which is ideally created around the telecom requirements with long, long life cycle uh, as well the uh, the uh, performance measurement, what is needed for, for some of the applications, especially for LTE applications and, and gateway applications. Okay, so just to break that down a little bit, Sandy Bridge is the code name for, for what, so that people know? Great, so Sandy Bridge is the, uh, it's an Intel Xeon class uh, processor, which is supporting eight cores uh, per socket. Uh, in, in this case, it's a dual socket uh, CPU uh, each of them eight cores with uh, uh, high memory bandwidth and in their processor communications. And what does that give you as a, as a, as a developer in terms of uh, performance then? The performance is much higher, there's less latency uh, because we're using the em embedded package in SKU. Um, we have uh, multiple SKUs, uh, multiple channels between the processors in order to, uh, to high, high speed processing between processors. It reduces the lat latency in some of the applications. Um, we have uh, higher memory bandwidth uh, with uh, four memory channels per socket, which allows you to, uh, to have a, a faster access to the memory and your applications will be run much smoother um, when you talk about uh, virtualization and some of the applications where you need high memory bandwidth. So this is all about meeting the need in the carrier networks for high performance, high capacity solutions because of the next generation services and applications that their users want to access, is that right? Correct. So, and the other neat thing on this platform is that it's, uh, it's going to be having a, a second generation as a follow-on. If you follow the Intel strategy, is we will be supporting the next generation on the same base board um, without respinning the board. So, this is a nice feature set to have as well in the SKU. Um, so, it gives you a longer life cycle and you have an upgrade power for the next generation processor as well. And uh, will we be seeing the product when you're announcing it? When will we be seeing it possibly being embedded into your customers' solutions? Um, well, it's limited, uh, a number of limited uh, units already with ca in customer hands. Uh, we have done some significant benchmarking already to, uh, to an analyze the performance increase. Uh, our customers are eager to see um, how the application will be running on top of it, so they're qualifying it. Um, and, uh, and, and looking on what, what performance increase they get. From a mobile perspective, you know, each user is a, uh, is a revenue generating suspect uh, on a per blade level. So they want to see how much more they can process on a per blade level and increase their, their, their revenue stream as well. So that's why we have customers already looking at it and, uh, and migrating it to the next generation. Now, as a follow-on, um, some customers are using uh, packet acceleration. Um, the, our strategy to launch this blade was to have a baseboard ready, but also to, to be able to enhance it. And the enhancement would be using an AMC, for an example, which could have a, uh, an additional uh, network processing feature set or security engine, uh, which could enhance the blade in addition to the performance we have today.